All right, so this is Al again, and I uh, wanted to finish the uh, product review for the Armscore M200 38 Special Revolver, as you can see it uh, right here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot a few rounds and uh, see how well it behaves. Uh, I'll be using <coughs> I'll be using these uh, <coughs> excuse me these 38 Special Reloads uh, that are. Uh, uh, it's actually lead, copper coated lead uh, bullet uh, flat point and uh, these are loaded to plus B specification so we're gonna see uh, how well it behaves with a plus B load so we're gonna go ahead and shoot and see what uh, see how well this thing is should be six rounds right here so we'll take a look at it open it up for you there's a six rounds and it's fairly easy to eject so we'll go ahead and uh, load six more rounds real quick and show you what that looks like so we'll take one round here take another one off the box here and continue doing so. The chamber feels uh, nice and smooth. Uh, everything goes in easily, extract easily, which means the uh, the chambers are well finished. I don't feel any roughness inside of them. And uh, you know it's working as uh, as it should. So we're gonna shoot one last cylinder load, and then we'll uh, we'll stop there. to go. Let me make sure the cylinder is in the correct position. There we go. That might be a bad primer on that one. went off once in a while you do have a, a bad primer so we're gonna go ahead and try six more just to make sure that there's uh, the functioning is fine on the weapon and uh, we'll make sure that uh, the firing pin is hitting all the primers properly and that, that was just a fluke so we're gonna throw six more in, in the cylinder Take another shot at it. All right, that's all six, so everything's working well, and uh. Yeah, that's not bad for a for a $200 revolver. You could do a heck of a lot worse than the Amscore M238 Special. Four-inch barrel, uh, nicely ramped front sight. The uh, sight picture is actually really, really clear on this thing. I like the uh, the width of the hammer spur. Uh, it grips really nicely. Fairly easy to pull back. The double action pull is just fantastic on this thing, but the single action pull, uh, it's, it's long and it's very heavy, it just kind of sucks. Uh, I, you know, it's probably going to take a lot of, uh, you know, uh, dry firing with the uh, snap caps in place before this gun actually will break in and smooth out. 
all the parts are probably pretty rough on the inside but overall for $200 uh, you can do a lot worse than that it's reliable and uh, you know it'll do the job so thanks for watching everybody God bless everyone and you take care